Did you know that you could play two player for Wright Patterson Mahjong? You just play two hands at one time. It's called Siamese Mahjong. There are links below the video to the lesson playlist. I'm going to do a solitaire version so you can see what it's like. If you're new to Wright Patterson Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's get to the solitaire game. I have all my tiles out and they've been mixed and built into walls just to the left of my racks. This way we can keep a progress on the game. because there's a way to play defense based on how many tiles are left in the draw wall. So we'll keep a watch on that. I'm gonna roll the dice to see who is prevailing. For Siamese Mahjong, player one plays for east and south, player two plays for west and north. So I rolled an 11. 11 is eight, nine, west. So West is prevailing. I'm gonna put a three up on the dice. Let's see, let's just put it over here. So West is prevailing. And then I'm gonna use this to mark whose turn it is because sometimes I forget during the pick and discard phase of the game and I forget whose turn it is. So this just helps me remember who's drawing and who needs to discard. So I recommend that you do that too. Okay, now player one gets 28 tiles, player two gets 27. So I'm gonna deal out the tiles now. Okay, I just want to make sure that we have the right number of tiles. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six groups of four with three remaining. So that's enough tiles. So I like to make decisions at the beginning so that I'm left with as close to eight discards as possible. So I want to look at my tiles and see if I can get to about eight discards. So I first see that we might even be able to play 13 orphans or it's called angels in this version. It's one of each of the winds and dragons, one of each of the ones and nines and any tile paired. So here's a pair of south, for example. And then down here, Maybe we could play something mixed suits. I'm thinking little two, four, six, eight, because we do have a lot of two, four, six, eight, and we have multiples with a few of those tiles also. So I'm going to pull all the two, four, six, eight together, and that leaves six discards. So that's kind of the goal. Try to get to as uh, eight discards if you can, eight or better. Um, so we have angels, which is, oh, I gotta go get my book. Angels is number 63 on page 25. Ones and nines of each suit with seven odd honors. Odd honors is one of each suit, or one wind and dragon, and then any dragon paired, basically. That's seven odd honors plus one paired. So, and any one of these tiles can be paired. We just happen to have a south already. So that's how I'm gonna plan that out right there. And I'm not gonna use wins down here, so I'll probably go ahead and get rid of this one. Otherwise, this one could be the pair and we could get rid of the south. It really doesn't matter. So we'll just do that because we're not gonna use either the one or the south down here because we're playing evens. 
The hand I'm thinking of for the mixed suits is little 2468. And that's primarily because we have eights and sixes and I want to leverage the, those multiples and they're in mixed suits. So anytime I have multiples in mixed suits, I, looked at, I look at the mixed suit options and those are on page 23 and 24. Little 2468 is number 52 and it says any two or three suits. The pung, uh, you have one pung each of 2468 and then you have a pair of either twos or eights. So we have lots of opportunity for that other pair and we could pung that. This is a pung hand. So we can even declare pungs for these uh, two, four, six, eight. Anytime someone discards, you can declare it and make an exposure to pung if you have a pung hand. So I think that's a good plan for that one. Now let's look at what we have for player one. Okay, look at all those bands. That is pretty crazy. So let's see what we can do there. We have one, two, three, four pair there. There is a hand called repression. I think repression though uses a sequence and we really have lots of pairs. So yeah, repression is a sequence of eight in any suit with three pairs of winds or three pairs of dragons. So I, I don't think that I want to do that, but we do have a nice consecutive run here. I'm thinking we could maybe play a sequence hand or maybe even um, Betty perhaps. Betty is a pair hand and we could just pair these up, but we do have the, the dragons and the winds for Betty. Betty is uh, number eight on page 17. Three pairs in one suit with no terminal, so we'd have to get rid of the nine. And then seven odd honors and one honor paired. So I'd say that is a good possibility. We could always switch to a sequence hand. So for this first option, we could either play news lineup or dragon lineup. And those are both sequence hands. Sequence hands are on page 18. News lineup is north, east, west, and south with one wind paired and a sequence of one to nine. And then dry and lineup is basically the same hand, but you have red, white, and green dragon and one dragon paired. And then for the hand down here, I think we could probably play Peng Chow. We have Chow. Chow is three in a sequence, so we have one two, three, and then a maybe. One, two, three. So we need a couple more bams in here, but look at our discards. We have only five. So I think I would just gather bams and try to get Peng Chow. Peng Chow in a sequence hand. So let's see how this goes. We're gonna start by discarding for player one. And I'm just gonna start by discarding the south. I can move this just a little. Okay, now we're going to draw for player two. Now there's a south here, but angels is concealed. We have to draw everything. So I'm not going to claim that. Don't be tempted if you're playing a concealed hand. So we're going to draw. We got a seven dot, which is not helpful because we need ones and nines. We need really a nine bam, a one dot, and a west. We're three away there. Here we need evens and we got a odd. So let's go ahead and start by discarding. Let's discard seven bam. Peng Chow can use that seven bam, but Peng Chao is concealed. As a matter of fact, 
you have to draw it all yourself, even your winning tile. Peng Chao is on page 18, it's number 15. Four Chows or Pengs, any combination, and a pair in one suit, last tile must be drawn. So we have to self-pick that. So we're gonna draw six crack, which we don't need. We can get rid of all of these. So let's go ahead and get rid of this nine crack. These are all discards right there. And we're gonna, oh, I forgot to move the marker. I gotta remember to do that. Okay, so now we're gonna draw for player two. Nine crack, okay. So we're gonna keep that. I'm just seeing now we have one, two, three pair. If we keep pairing up these honors, we might be able to play, to play Heavenly Twins, which is seven pairs of wins and dragons and ones and nines. Let's go ahead and discard the three dot. And we'll draw for player one now. So three dot, uh, this player can't take that. The sequence hand with news or dragons is concealed anyway, so we wouldn't be able to call it regardless. So let's go ahead and draw. Seven bam, that's a good keeper for this player. So we have three, four, five, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. So there's two chows in here. Or look, one, two, three, four. We have four pair, but that would leave tiles in groups of waiting chows like this three, four. I don't think seven pair, or it's called doublets in this style. I don't think that would be good. I think, um, I think Peng Chow is still the best option. So there's a Chow, there's a Chow, there's a Chow, and there's a Chow. We need one more BAM, and it could be any BAM in order to get ready for Peng Chow. So we're gonna discard the one crack. It's always good to discard wins, dragons, ones, and nines if you know you're not gonna need them, because they're used in a lot of higher point hands and you wanna to try to get rid of them early, if you can. So let's draw for player two. West, oh yeah, that's a good tile right there. I think we should definitely get rid of these and try for angels. That's a double limit hand. We have one of each wind, and, we have one of each dragon, one of each wind and a pair. All we need here is a nine bam and a one dot. Let's hold these just in case though and get rid of these up here. So we'll throw the three bam, and we'll draw for player one. Six crack, that's a discard, but we can get rid of the two crack. And draw for player two. Seven crack is a discard. And we've had, let's see, four discards each. So seven crack was discarded. We're gonna draw now for player one. One bam, that's a good tile. So now all they need is a one bam, but they have to draw it. So let's go ahead and discard the three crack. And we're gonna draw for player two. Eight bam, that's a keeper. We need two, four, six, eight. Any two, four, six, eight, you just gather till you run out of discards. We'll just throw the three crack. And now we can draw for player one. Six crack is a discard. Even though that looks good, having that pung up there, it's not gonna help, because we're in dots and bams. Let's draw for player two. North, okay, this is where the pairs come in. So I'll put these up here real quick so you can see. Here we have one, two, three, four pair. You need seven pair for heavenly twins, and that is also a double limit hand. Either way, we can go ahead and just discard the seven dot because we know we don't need that. And we can draw for player one. Four bam, let's keep it because we might be able to mix these up in different ways to get what we need. 
So we'll just keep it in order. And we can, for example, use a two bam for a chow. This could be a pear, etc. So try to keep them in order until you start figuring out what your blocks are. So let's throw the six crack. And we'll draw for player two. East, there's another pair. We still don't have to make a decision. You don't have to commit till you run out of discards. Seven dot. The next pick, we're gonna have to make some decisions. So seven dot was discarded. Now we'll draw for player one. White dragon, there's a good tile. And we still don't even have to pick here because we still have a discard. Six crack. Now we're gonna draw up here and it'll be time to start making decisions. A one dot, we needed that for angels. So we need one and nine of each suit. One nine, one nine, we need a nine bam. These are extras. So four, eight, 12, we're, we're ready to win ready to win with a nine bam for a double limit. I think the heavenly twins, which is seven pair, we are further away. We had one, two, three, four, five pair. We needed two more pair. So this one is a little bit closer. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and discard the winds north. And they can call for their winning tile here. Let's draw for player one. Seven crack, it's a discard. We'll draw for player two. One crack, oh, now they would have had another pair there. Yeah, we'll stick with it. Let's get rid of the east. They're ready to win. Let's draw for player two. One dot, okay, that'll help with the run of nine, sequence of nine. We need a two dot and a four dot. So let's go ahead and keep the dragon since we have red, white, and green dragon and one dragon paired. Let's get rid of the south. And we'll draw for player two. One dot. Okay, that's, we still, let's just look at what the pairs are again. One, two, three, four, five. So it, it's the same, same situation as before. We should stick with angels. Let's see, one, nine, one, nine, one. Okay, and here's the pair. So we have four, 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 and then 12, let's see, four, four, four. There's our pair. Okay, we're waiting on a nine bam. Let's discard the one dot. And then we can draw for player one. Six crack is a discard. And we'll draw for player two. Green dragon. We're gonna discard it. We're waiting on a nine bam. Let's draw for player one. Eight bam. Okay, let's see if we're any closer to Peng Chao. We're actually close to a hand called Piano Keys also. Let me just read Piano Keys to you. Piano Keys is a sequence hand. It is number 14 on page 18. A sequence of one to nine in one suit with two pungs and a pair, two through eight. Two pungs, one, two, and a pair. So this hand is actually ready to win on a two bam because we have a sequence of nine, okay, one through nine. We have two pungs in two through eight and a pair. All we need is a two bam, and that is piano keys single limit concealed hand, and we can call for it. Whereas Peng Chao requires you to draw your own tile. So I think we should play that. Piano keys, ready to go. We're gonna discard the nine bam, nine bam. Now, since this player is playing a double limit hand, I'm gonna declare Mahjong. I'm not gonna wait because only the winning hands get paid. So I'm gonna declare Mahjong. 
for this hand. That's a, a really hard hand to get, actually. Angels. And this hand has a ways to go. You can hold off in declaring mahjong and try to do two mahjongs at one time and get double payment for both hands, but this hand has so far to go, I don't want to miss out on getting paid for this. So I'm going to discard the one bam. And we can discard those before we figure out what we're doing here. So now we're going to draw for this player here. This player needs a two bam, and we need a two dot and a four dot. They have three discards. So we'll draw one crack. We can go ahead and get rid of the West though. And draw for player one, or player two, five crack. Let's go ahead and get rid of the ones and nines. One crack. And we'll draw for player one, seven crack. We'll get rid of the West again. That's a good safe tile. And draw for player two. Five dot. Let's go ahead and get rid of nine crack. Ones and nines and wins and dragons. Those should all go out first if you're not going to use them. And we're going to draw for player one. Oh, five bam. Okay, let's go back to Pung Chow because we're filling in a lot of good tiles here. We might be able to make Pung Chow work. So let's just try it. Um, We'll just go left to right, and then we'll go right to left. So here's three, four, five, four, five, six. Here we have a gap, and then here we have two chows. No, just one chow. Let's see, we'll try it the other way. There are too many gaps. We'll try it the other way now. Seven, eight, nine. Here's six, seven. Let's see, there's a pair. Here's a five, six, seven. This is isolated. These are isolated. Here's a three, four, five, and a four, five. I think it's too chopped up. Either way, we can keep them all and just see what happens. I still think they're, they're still ready on a two bam, so we could still make piano keys work, but I would stay flexible and see if Peng Chow comes in we'll discard the one crack. And now we can draw for player two. North, discard. Player one, two dot. Oh, we needed that. One, two, three, four dot. That's what we need to win. And then we need any tile paired in here, actually, I believe. Let me just read that. I think we need a pair in there. Sequence of one and nine in one suit, one tile paired, two through eight. That's number 11 on page 18. So we need to pair in here somewhere. Oops, there. Okay, so let's see. I don't remember if I discarded. Count in groups of four. So we need to discard because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven full groups of four. That means we need to discard seven crack. So we need to draw for player two, three crack, discard. We'll draw for player one, eight dot. There's the pair. Okay, now they're ready on a four dot. They need a four dot to win dragon lineup. So now we need to decide down here. Let's see here. We were going to play you know, there's a hand called hijacks, I believe, because we have one, two, three pungs and a pair. If you get four pungs and a pair, that is, a, I believe, a double limit hand. Hijacks, double limit concealed, four concealed pungs and a pair in one suit, but you have to draw it yourself. So let's, let's see here. Um... So we're not ready for hijacks, four pungs. We only have three pungs. So I think, let's see. Let's just peel off the tiles to see how far we are from piano keys. 
I believe this is piano keys. We need a two bam, a pair. Let's keep the five. Okay, so we're two away from piano keys. See, here's a nine, one through nine, pung, pung, pair. All we need is a two bam there. Are we missing something? Oh, we're missing a tile here too. We need a four dot. So we're two away on a double mahjong. So let's go ahead and discard four bam. We could still maybe make pung chow work if we draw it ourselves. So let's draw for player two. Two dot, that is a good keeper. We're just gathering two, four, six, eight. That's a concealed hand, so they can't claim any discards till they're ready to win. So let's discard the five dot and draw for player one. Eight crack would be a discard. They're playing a concealed hand, so they can't claim it. We need, wait a minute, that's not true. Two, four, six, eight, little two, four, six, eight, they can claim it, I apologize. Let me just go back to mixed suits, just to double check. Mixed suit, little two, four, six, eight, single limit pung hand. One pung each of two, four, six, eight, and a pair of either twos or eights. Let's, let's claim a discard to make a pung out of that. So I'm gonna put that back here. There's an eight crack pung. And then we need, uh, we need a two, we don't, uh, and we need a pair. We need a pair of eights still, either twos or eights. Uh, we need fours, we need a, a pung and fours and sixes. So we do not need all these twos. There's a two crack out. Let's go ahead and discard the two crack. Okay, I'll just put these back here. All right, now, oh, you know what? I could have discarded that five crack and kept the two. That would have been better. Try to keep your options open. We didn't need that at all. Okay, let's draw for player one. Four bam. Again, we just discarded a four bam. We're gonna discard it again, discard. And we'll draw for player Two. Two bam. Okay. So now we can pung and then one of these will be the pair. We need to pair or pung the six. We need a pung of fours. We can totally get rid of the eights. Let's get rid of this five crack. That is doing no good at all. So let's draw for player one. Three bam. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's not gonna help. We need a two bam to win piano keys. Let's throw the three bam and draw for player two. Three crack, discard. Player one. Four dot. Okay, that's a win. That hand is done. And I'm going to discard the five bam. I'm not gonna declare a mahjong here because this player is ready to win. We can do a double mahjong here. It is a little risky because this player already has one win and it's a double limit. So I'm not gonna wait too long on that. Let's see what happens. So they need a two bam to win. Let's draw for player two. Oh, two crack and I got rid of it. I should have kept that, two crack. So we need a two bam here. Okay, eight crack, that's a good safe discard because it was already discarded or there's an exposure of an eight crack back here. So we're gonna draw for player two. Okay, four crack, that's a good tile. We need a pung in here. We have to get pairs in here in order to pung. So we already have eight, eight crack back here. We need to pung one of these and one of these can be the pair. We need to pung the six and we need a pung of fours. Let's go ahead and get rid of the eight bam. And then we can draw for player one. Three dot, we've got a pair here, so this hand is done. Let's go ahead and discard. And then draw for player two. Okay, four dot, there we go. So those are all discards. We need to pung, pung, pung. 
Let's go ahead and discard the eight dot. Now we're getting down towards the end of the third wall here. So this player needs to start thinking about declaring a, mint, a win because you're only gonna w get paid for the declared wins. And if this player declares two Mahjongs and they don't declare any, they will not get paid. That's why the, the timing is really critical for Siamese Mahjong. I think I might try one more pick, maybe two, and decide. Okay, five crack, that's a discard. Because if we can draw that two bam, we can do a double mahjong and get paid double for both. And let's draw for player two. White dragon, that's a discard. Okay, player one, three dot. I'm gonna, I'm going to let it go one more time, one more draw. Let's discard the three dot, and we're going to draw for player two, four crack. So we have options here. Let's discard a four bam. Now we're through that third wall, so I think I'm going to probably declare Mahjong. Here's a seven crack. I'm going to declare Mahjong for this hand here because I do not want to lose out on a winning a winning hand. This at least will discount this hand up here. This hand's a double limit, so we're probably gonna end up paying for it, but at least we can discount the points a little bit with a single limit hand. So we've declared Mahjong and we're ready to win here. We'll discard the seven crack and draw for player two. Three bam, that's a discard. We can draw for player one, north. Drawing for player two, two dot. So we have our pair, here's a pung right here. We have the pair, here's a pung, and then we need to pung these two. So, or, or the four, either four. Let's look and see what's out fours. There's two, four, three, four bams out. Well, well, we need four dot and four crack. I don't think either one of them are out. Well, there's a four dot exposed in this win. So let's go ahead and discard that one because there's only one more left. Four dot. So this can be the discard and hopefully we'll get the four crack and the six bam there. Let's draw for player one, four crack, discard, and that will be a pung, four crack. So we have a four, a pung of four cracks and a pung of eight cracks there, and we'll discard this four dot. They're ready on a six bam, and we're playing down here now. One dot is a discard. Now it's just a race. Five dot. Four crack. Nine dot. Nine bam. Okay, let's just see if we can make Peng Chow work. Yeah, I don't think so because we have this tile here. Three, four, five, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. See, at least with with piano keys, they can either draw their winning tile or they can claim a discard for the two bam and win by either draw or discard. Whereas if we played Pung Chow, which is four Pungs or Chows and a pair, you have to draw your winning tile. In this case, we would have to, let's see here. One, oh yeah, one, two, three, draw either a seven bam or a nine bam and there's already a nine bam up here and i believe a seven bam has already been thrown i think we should go ahead and stick with the plan of piano keys because we can either claim a thrown a discarded two bam or draw it 
Let's go ahead and discard the 9 BAM and hope for a 2 BAM. We can draw for player 1 or player 2. 2 BAM, we don't need it because we've already got our Pung here. How many 2 dots are out though? Because you want to look at what's been thrown. N neither one have been thrown. Either way, it's a risky tile. So I would probably stick with what I had and throw the 2 BAM because there's uh, let's see, actually there's a two dot up here already and we have the other two. I think I would, since there's a two dot in a winning hand and I had the other three, the chances of the other player needing a single two is probably better, uh, better defense to hold the two bam. Let's throw the two dot and now we're going to draw for player one. We need to draw west. And we can draw for this player to crack. Don't need that. And we can draw for player one east. Drawing for player two. Two bam. They would actually Kong this probably, but. Um, yeah, I think we normally we would Kong it, Kong it, and then they would get a replacement tile and discard Red Dragon. So this Piano Keys is dead because we needed that 2 BAM. So they need to switch to Peng Chao. So here's 7, 8, 9, pair 8s, or actually 6, 7, 8, those could be 2 Chows, there's a pair. Let's get rid or let's draw. I think we have to draw. So, because we have four, 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 one, we need to draw. Draw right here. Eight dot. That's a discard. So, I think probably the one BAM can be discarded. So, their hand went dead with that Kong of two BAMs. Let's draw for player two. Six dot. That's a discard. We need a six BAM. And we're going to draw for player one. They need three, four, five, six, seven. They need a six BAM, I believe, or maybe a nine BAM if they're not all out. Let's see what happens. Four dot. Discard. Drawing for player two. Seven dot. Player one. Nine crack. Player two, five crack. Player one, five dot. Player two, red. Player one, a oh, nine bam, nice. Okay, pair, pung, pung. Here's a chow. Okay, so we need, oh, there's their pair. So a four BAM, there's no, let's see, there's three four BAMs out. There's one more four BAM. Let's throw the one BAM. That's useless. So they're ready on a four BAM here. Let's see if we can make them ready on something better. Yeah, that way that we had it a minute ago. Let's see. This way, this way is better. Three, four, five, five, six, seven. They're ready on either a nine BAM or a seven BAM. Whereas before, let me see, how did I have that Pung? Then we had a Chow and then a potential Chow where we're ready on just a four BAM. But if you rearrange it just a little bit, we're ready on two tiles. So the weight is better. It's a stronger weight. We're waiting for two tiles as opposed to one. So let's see here. We are ready to draw. Whoops. So we're going to draw six dot is a discard and we can draw for player one. We're looking for a seven BAM or a nine BAM east. White. Six BAM. Okay, let's just see how this works out. There's a nine, pair of nines, 
Pung of eight, Pung of sevens. Here's four, let's see, three, four, five, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, eight, nine. We're waiting on either eight or nine. Let's see here. There's a nine here. There's a nine out and two here. There's one eight bam out. And I believe there are, there's one seven bam out. Okay. I'm thinking we can discard. Well, let's just try this again here. Let's see what we got. Pair, pung, pung. Three, four, five. The seven bam is out, so we're not going to get a chow out of that. Uh, there are two, three, four bams out, so we're not going to get a chow out of that. So I think we're better off waiting. Let me see here. I think this hand might be dead. Three, four, five, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. Three, four, five, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, eight. If we throw the nine bam, we'd be ready on an eight. There's only one eight bam out. So the chances of getting that eight bam is greater. All the sevens are out, all the nines are out, all the fours are out. So I think we should get rid of the nine bam. You really have to be on your toes with Pung Chow. Let's draw for player two, nine dot. Drawing for player one, five crack. Player two, six dot. Maybe the eight bams are out, I don't know. Player two, uh, one, five bam. Okay, so here we go again. Let's see. I think seven, eight, nine, pair of eights, five, six, seven, five, six, seven. Here we go. Mahjong. Three, four, five, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, pair of eights, seven, eight, nine. There's the pair. So that's Mahjong with Peng Chow. So you just have to really be flexible, and anytime you draw into your suit, rearrange and make it work left to right or right to left. So here we have a chow, 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 pair. So that's mahjong. So this player has two mahjongs, so the game ends. So we have um, two mahjongs that was not simultaneous, so they will get paid for the value of each hand, offset by this winning hand. Each of these is a single limit hand. This is a double limit hand, so the game is a wash. Actually, that's not true because they get paid double for the second Mahjong. Sorry about that. They will get paid a single single limit hand because they get a single for this one, a single for this one, but this is doubled because it's the second win. This is a double Mahjong leaving them a single Mahjong to win. So they would get paid for a single Mahjong with only one tile to spare. That was really lucky. Let me know what you think about Solitaire for Siamese Mahjong using Wright Patterson rules. I think it's a lot of fun to play. If you have a set at home, give it a try yourself. It's really great practice too. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing and click the bell when you do so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss any opportunities to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight of the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next Siamese Mahjong using Wright Patterson rules. May all your picks be keepers.